Yeah, that's more reasonable, to be fair. No, don't lock me up. No! Bing! Yeah. I'm sitting here with Soon today, and uh, hopefully Knights will be joining us in a minute. What we're going to do is show you some things which I've recently been doing with the dev build. Um, underneath me, I've got a little digger thing, and we're actually moving across this platform here. Where are you, Soon? Ah, oh, there you are. Hello. Hello. Right, so as you can see here, flush fit. And it's done using a rail under here. I'll go into a bit about how that works because it's got a very, it's got a cool little uh, trick to it, which keeps it just going from end to end. And that's in an infinite effect. It doesn't matter how long the rail is. I'll just quickly go over that. So this is going to be the first demo. Okay. So first of all, we've got a button next to a rail with a button next to a rail. You hit C and then Shift V on the entire length of the rail. And then the same Shift V. So if this button gets pushed, it will send the rail one way. If this button gets pushed, it sends the rail the other way. And then what we do is we put a button next to the rail at the end. So when the cart comes over this, it'll trigger the button changing the rails direction so it sends it back and then we have another button here which does exactly the same thing and that means that the rail will just go from end to end over and over again there's a couple of interesting things I found out you can actually put a block on the uh, mothership side and it won't collide with it so you can put a floor in you can have a floor coming all the way to here that would be no problem. So, uh, the next thing is just a rotator which is placed slightly offset to the, you know, for an effect. I was going for an effect with this. Kind of like a mulcher. Or a... It's coming for me. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to get hit by the mulcher. But what I really wanted to show you guys today was these new doors. Right. Do you want to come and hit the button I'm standing on? This will open it. Hit. As you can see, it opens up. Now get ready to close it, because once I'm in here, I can't get back in. Do you want to close it? It's the other button. Sure. As you... Whoa, look at that, look at that. Bing. Who is it? I think some of the logic right. might not be hooked up, but... Yeah, I can't get back in now. I'm stuck. So this is effectively a cell now. But yeah, if you let me out. Yay! It's, it's got three doors. Right, sorry about that. It's, I had so Who is it? <laughs> so that's the door demo. I mean, just quickly to show how... Oh my god! Wait a minute. Something happened! Something went crazy! Oh my god. What What's it doing up there? It's physical. Hang on, I'll uh, I'll fix it. It might be because I literally just loaded this in. I built it on a different PC. Don't hit me. No. Is it going to be upside down now? Nope. Nope, it's okay. It still works. Yeah, it still works, yeah. Well, that was weird. We turned around and it was suddenly up in the air. Yeah. But it had been working fine until then. What's going on with it? Hang on, let's just watch it go all the way back real quick. It wants attention. Maybe it's this one little block here, because I removed a block and let the wedge slide into it. No, it's fine. No, I'm a bit confused. Oh, that's probably why. Okay, so this first door I've made look a little bit fancy, mainly to show off that it interlocks. So you've got a force field that interlocks. That means you can actually, you know, if you are the owner of this station, you can get into this little viewing area, which allows you to speak to the prisoner. But that's just, I was just being silly, you know. I was just being silly with it. Um, also, there's a feature with an and block to show that it's locked when it opens and closes. 
but I don't think those red lights there are, act are activating when it closes, are they? So I think some logic no. must have come unlinked, but we'll fix that. So the way this is done is actually really easy, and it's pretty much the same. Hey, it's fallen off again, look! Hmm. What the hell? It wants a, it wants just attention. This is it wants attention. Yeah, it's like this is this is might might be a bug in this current build. Bye. And it's working again. What? Right, right you can see PM me now. All right, hang on. <laughs> Are you having fun with the scoop there? What is it anyway? It's like a mechanical looking scoop for a open cast quarry thing. You know. Big, uh, it's a big digger, but but it's basically it's the principle on which this door works here. Check it out. You missed it. All right. Well, here we are. So we've got night with us now. If I hit this button, off it goes. See, it opens like that. It's actually. Guys, I'm, I'm thinking I'm getting a little bit sick. Oh my god, it it disconnected. What? How did it fall off? I right. don't know. I just ignore it. Me. Just ignore it. it. Must be a must be something we don't know about. All right. So close the door, and it closes. But the important thing to note is that it merges. You see that red pillar of lights there? They're mm -hmm. not. They're not together. They're both parts of uh, each side. It looks really good. Well, they used to actually light up when they when when it's sealed. Those red lights would go blink and turn off. But some logic has gone wrong. So if I come underneath this thing, you can see all of the uh, all the rails for it. Yeah, I see. The attention-seeking digger arm is still trying to get in the shot. Okay, so under here, what we have is the same setup as that sign, which is why I showed you it just now. We've got a button left and right with a heart with a delay. And then another button left and right with a delay. And there's two rails. One on the right for the right door. And one on the left for the left door. Okay. Should I, should I show it when it's active? Hang on. Um, well, yeah, if you want to push the button for it to activate it, it will make everything light up. So that's good. So pushing one turns on the outward rails. Wait a minute. What's going on here? It's stopped. Oh, it's got stuck against the wall. That's okay. That's fine. All right. So basically, one button pushes the rails away from each other, and the other button, if you could hit it, pushes them back. Oh, that's weird. That button is still active. Oh well, whatever. So, oh, I know what's happened. The wireless logic buttons have come have come unlinked. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Could you open the doors? Or should I open them? Mm-hmm. Just out of curiosity. Yeah. Uh, Hang on. Tom, See. Uh, when you press the activation v. block, it undocks the um, spinny thing. Yeah. Oh, really? V. Don't know. I've just reconnected the wireless logic. If you want to close the door now, the light should come on when the door closes. No, that's the wrong... Oh, no. That's the right button. There you go. See yeah, that? Bing. I love that. Small it's balls. just, yeah, it's what it is, is I've taken a trigger, I've taken a trigger at the end of the rail, so when the door closes, it takes a trigger there, puts it into an AND block, and then the AND block goes into a button, and then the button fires, fires off two wireless signal blocks, and there's, there's Ooh, a, this door looks fancy. and then there's a wireless, wireless signal block attached to um, each of the door entities which hooks up to a button, which goes into the red light. And I would do that much slower, but it would just be quicker to build a new one and show you how to do it. So there'll be a tutorial coming on this kind of thing. Because to be honest, it looks complicated, but it's really not. It's just, I've tried to organize it in a way that isn't complex. Um, cause Who it's, is it? Yeah. Who? So Who? We're, we're gonna go on to, look at this. We're gonna go on to the next door now. Now this is like my epic door. It's not that epic yet because it became too epic and it would have taken me like half an hour to show you it. So I had to strip it down, but it has an outer door, which looks like this. 
It could be a lot more complicated than this. I've had to restrict myself to only using a one thick door for reasons I'll show you in a minute. And then on the inside, it has like an inner vault style door. So the buttons should work, but as before, I bet the wireless entities need rehooking up. So give me a minute. The wireless entities. Here's the wiring for it. It's exactly the same as the other door, just on a larger scale. So all I've got to do is, uh, let's see, hook up that wireless to this wireless and this wireless to this wireless because the wireless isn't saving in this version of the dev yet but to be honest that's cool if you take a note on the profile here we have a floor yeah we have a floor on both sides and a wall and casing on each side of the door there's no gaps it's all seamless and it's all very compact even the like these this is the core for the door it's actually below the floor there's no collision problems all right so soon sitting down right i think it's this side to open it is it moving no no how about now whoa that's a lot faster oh my it looks Who like they've changed the balance. When I was doing this last night, it took about 20 minutes to open. And I was just like, oh my god, it's too epic. But now it's actually a lot faster. Yeah, that's more reasonable, to be fair. No, don't lock me up. No. Bing. Yeah. Even flushes. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. I love it. I'm going to go show people the other side real quick. So this is like my new concept for all doors, just whatever scale they happen to be on. Because there's no moving parts that are, that are sticking out. Everything's flush. There's no, you know, you don't have to leave a gap anywhere. There's no stu silly holes to make it work. And the wireless logic. Ah. Beautiful. I figured out, uh, Tom, I figured out why this keeps coming undocked. Yeah, why? Because uh, you've got that activation block is linked to these rails down here. Oh, really? Have I accidentally broken it? What did I do? Uh, no, the, the actual uh, rails themselves are uh, linked to that activation block, so as soon as you hit the activation block, it undocks that. You what? Where, 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 where? Because it seemed to go back and forth. Fine, hang on. Right, press C yeah. on this activation block. Oh, hang on a minute. See, see, wait, which activation block? This one here. Oh, that's that's not right. That's <laughs> not right. That's an accident. Why is it yeah, hooked up to? Th I think I built that immediately after this. Hang on, what have I hooked? Oh my god! Wait, <laughs> I've hooked up the button to every rail, and it just ejects the. Whoops. Well, it's, that's a nice thing. Then you know that if you're yeah, if you're making logic to undock everything... Yeah, it's good it. to know. Yeah, you can de-dock it with a pulse that doesn't have a rail next to it. Oh, God. It'll just de-dock. Are you back on board? Nice. So, like, I think the most important thing that I found out from all of this was... Oh, it's upside down. Hang on. Yeah, I was looking at it myself. Yeah, yeah, don't mm. worry. I know why. It's uh, because the rail was the wrong way up when it docked. There we go. If the rail's going right, it'll dock up. If the rail's going left, like now, it'll be upside down. But no, like I was saying, this is probably the most important thing I found out while I was doing this. If I... Look. They're on the uh, mothership entity. And watch what happens. No problem. You got your docker there, you got your ship core there. One block gap is all it needs, which is really nice for creativity. It's going to allow a lot of designs that will be completely hidden away. You won't be able to see because you see that uh, all those mechanics are up there. I think that's what that you're doing with that door, isn't it? That's too far, but like, watch what happens. See? <laughs> 
I want to go through. Look, it wants yeah. to go. I want to go. I want to go. I'm going to go. Look. He's gone. He's gone through. He's smart. Look at that. He's coming back. Look, proper mechanics. And he's through. I know it's a little bit jerky at the moment, but to be honest, what more could you ask for? Like, we've got a thing coming round. It's going to whack randomly. So it's just going to go back a few degrees and try again. Look how robotic that looks. If you're going to yeah, make like a factory or something. With it's a, really smart. Yep. Yeah. And obviously, if you don't want it to look derpy, then we can just take these out and it won't even notice. Oh no! I'm getting dragged away! Oh, hmm. I'll just spin around in circles. Whoa! Don't get crushed by moving pieces of machinery, guys. Keep your arms inside at all times. Whee! So. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> I'm gonna now join I'm you. Stuck. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> like wedge yourself up uh, between the two blocks, it just kind of submerges you. Hopefully, this will knock me out. <laughs> we could go for the guillotine. You ready? So this is this is Tom losing his head. Ready? Ready? Ow! <laughs> oh my! I'm okay. I'm okay. I was wearing safety equipment. I'm not. Watch. Ah! <laughs> it does actually look like you could have just died. A little bit of clever editing, no problem. Mm, what happens when I got... Uh, oh, no, I've, got I've got an even yeah. better one for you. Don't push me. Wait, what? He's dead! Alright, it's a murderer. Alright, now I need a TP back. <laughs> oh, it's well. a murderer, everybody. So that's it guys, that's pretty much everything I had to show at this point, I just had another door. Um, I'm going to go through a little tutorial showing how to make these, they're really easy and they can be any size. Like to be honest, this door that I've got here is particularly small. Uh, the larger they are, the slower they move due to the mass. But I think that has been tweaked, because like I say, when I built this door to show off, it was moving at like an, an absolute crawl. I think it took a minute to move one block. Okay, and I was going to have to like speed it up to show it, but I think that they've changed the amount in this update that came out today. Um, guys, I think I'm locked. It's beautiful. All right, so thanks for watching, guys. That's Let pretty much the out. whole demo. Um, what's this? Got some people on the uh, stream. Hello, everybody. Whoa. Jason Hi. Train and a few others. Welcome. How did I do that? So, old player texture. Old player texture. I'll have to check that out. I'm just using the default because I'm on the dev build. Right. Um, yeah, and that's it really. Um, can't wait to see what people do with this. Let me out. <laughs>